let me show you how we can easily create a timer in Apple Keynote without any plugins or coding required. Simply, we are going to use a shape and animation on that very shape. So I will pick this rectangle with rounded corners. Let's round them all the way up, just like that. So this would be like a little timer on your slide and it's take only a little bit of space at the top or maybe at the bottom and you can still put all of the content on your slide. So that's a good thing. First, I need a one with the color similar to the backdrop. In my case, the backdrop is white, so I'll pick the gray color, just like that. Now I will copy this one, come and see, come and V, and the copy one will need to have a strong color, easy to spot color. Let's make the copy just a bit smaller than the original one. All right, a bit longer. Perfect. So it seems like this gray one is below and is like outlined for the colorful one. For the colorful one, we're going to apply animation on it. And that's how it will be used as a timer. So go to animate. There are three options, built in, action, and build out. We want to add a build out effect. So it will disappear. We can go all the way down and search for something called diffuse. That's nice, but I will change the direction from right to left and make it way longer. So it will take 60 seconds for this guy to disappear. This way, we can use this animation as a timer. You can tell your audience, your students, they got 60 seconds to do something and the timer in the slide will show you when the 60 seconds run out. All right, but what if we need more than 60 seconds? In that case, we can combine two shapes, three shapes, five shapes, and each shape will take 60 seconds. So let's take a look. I will get rid of that guy. Let's make it even simple with the regular rectangle. Same as before, we will make one with the gray color as the baseline. Then for the copy one, we will add some interesting color. And now we're going to make it way smaller. So it's cover around 50% of this bar. All right, now I copy and paste this guy and actually we got two shapes now. So the trick will be, to click on the first shape on the right side, go to animate. Again, we add the diffuse build out animation. So this will take 60 seconds. All right, and we will, and this will disappear first, just like that. And now we need to add animation to the second one, the very same animation. So diffuse 60 seconds from the right to the left. And now we just need to check out the build order. So click this little button here and you can see both animations here. So the first one will play on the click, that's correct. The second one we should play after build one. So after 60 seconds, the second one will play. All right, so let's check this out. I will speed up this video a bit, but you must trust me, it's twice 60 seconds. So that's two minutes. If you need three minutes, simply add three shapes, four minutes, four shapes. And this way you can very easily create a nice timer directly inside your keynote slideshow. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.